Millions of women every year turn to hormonal contraceptives to clear up their skin, on doctor's orders. But some women claim the exact opposite, that their acne started after going on birth control. So what is the truth, does birth control cure or cause acne? Acne is often the result of hormonal imbalance in the body. Androgens, such as testosterone boost skin cell growth and stimulate the skin to produce more oil. This can lead to blocked pores and thus acne. Most hormones have a counterregulatory hormone, a hormone that opposes its effect. For testosterone it is estrogen, which is commonly supplied in birth control pills. This is the reason why doctors recommend hormonal birth control for treating acne. Studies show that birth control pills can reduce acne by 55% on average. Then why would it cause acne? If the birth control method used is lacking sufficient antiandrogen properties it might make your acne worse. There are two big factors to consider when you choose your hormonal birth control. The first is the type of hormone they contain. This can be either progestin only or both progestin and estrogen. The second factor is the method of delivery, including options such as the pill, implant, patch, shot, vaginal ring and IUD. When your aim is to clear your skin, only the type and amount of hormones delivered is important. Progestin-only methods including the depot shot, IUD, implant and certain pill formulations called mini-pills will most likely not be effective for acne since they lack estrogen. Instead they tend to aggravate your acne. Many pills have been shown to almost double the rate of acne in women. While estrogen is necessary to counteract the acne-triggering effect of testosterone, regular birth control pills are not for everyone. There is a wide range of side effects associated with estrogen-heavy products, including headaches, weight gain, depression and hair loss. Those who cannot tolerate regular pills, can turn to low-dose and ultra-low-dose pills, which have also been proven effective. If you are looking for acne reduction with birth control pills, the rule of thumb is to choose a pill with the lowest possible dose of estrogen, a third-generation pill such as Yaz, Dianet or Culera. But also the type of progestin matters. Many progestins are androgenic, meaning that they boost androgens and can aggravate acne. But some progestins are antiandrogenic. They block androgen receptors, preventing androgen hormones from doing their job. These include ciproterone acetate, chlormadinone acetate, dienogest and drospirinone. The latter receiving the best ratings. Drospirinone has also been found to counter some of the side effects of estrogen, such as water retention, weight gain and breast tenderness. Remember that birth control does not clear acne overnight. It can take up to six months to see good results. Nor is it a cure for acne, but rather a temporary treatment keeping the pimples away until you stop taking the right combination of hormones. But once you stop taking the pill, your acne is likely to come back. It is also important to realize that for many women post-pill acne can be worse than pre-pill acne and even harder to get rid of. After you stop taking the pill it will take a while for your hormones to get back to normal levels. It might even take several months, during which your skin can be very prone to breakouts. So is it worth trying hormonal birth control to control you breakouts? It's a decision each woman has to make on her own. There are some rare but severe complications that have been linked to hormonal contraceptives. Including cervical cancer, high blood pressure, migraines and blood clotting. Many of these risks increase with age and smoking. So if you are over the age of 35, you should be extra careful and discuss the risks with your doctor. But if you do want to try hormonal birth control for acne, make sure to choose one that contains both progestin and estrogen and make sure that the type of progestin used is antiandrogenic. If you want to read more on acne and hormonal birth control and see examples of brands that might cure or cause acne, you can find a link to our article below.